Hello YouTube, uh, this is going to be a really quick video hopefully, um, it's a BTS pickups video and sort of run through. Um... I have already sort of rehomed or temporarily rehomed everything I've brought back, this is a couple of days after. Um, I will just basically run through what I got. Um, I will say it was absolutely great. It was amazing meeting everyone that I did meet. Um, and definitely if you are considering, you know, getting into this hobby, then consider it next year. Um, that was the BTS. So, pickups wise. God, I'm going to have to go through them. Right, so, first... I've got two Orchid Mancers. I've put them into these temporary enclosures. Um, obviously, mesh lids. Humantis Coronatus. Something like that, anyway. Um, standard Orchid Mancers. Pair. And it's an L5 and an L3, I believe. Um, May obviously being the L3 because of the growth rate. Um, and then from XO Factory, yellow Orchid Mancers. Now these were one of the most expensive things I picked up. They're £25 each and they're only L1. Um, so extremely, extremely, extremely fragile. This is a bit of a mad one to get. I mean, normally at one of these shows I'd never never buy something at that sort of stage. I don't tend to sell things at L1. Um, but I haven't ever seen them in the hobby before. Um, they will be amazing. So, whilst we're on the subject of Exo Factory, I met Bartek there, which was awesome. It was really cool seeing him. Um, I bought a couple of things and he's just gave me a whole bunch of free stuff as well, which was absolutely great. Um, so, I got two of these. Well, I say I got two of them. Uh, I bought two uh, Mega Mantis nymphs. I don't know if you can see at the bottom. Um, but he ended up giving me another two Mega Mantis nymphs for free. So, I got a whole bunch more Mega Mantis for free. Um, and what else did I get? I got given, which is cool. This little trapdoor spider, I've transferred into here. Let's see if we can get a closer shot. Um, he is going to send me the name in the next couple of days. Um, because I'm not sure exactly what species it is. There it is. It's uh, in the edge there. So, you know, can't complain about a free trapdoor spider. Can't complain about a few Mega Mantises. Pretty good. Um, he was a really nice guy. It was cool talking to him. What else? Uh, Mega Mantises. Uh, so, this is from Tom Moran. I got an Ogre Face Spider. That's the net casting spider. Um, scientific name, I honestly can't remember. I totally just. I what, I actually saw Daniel Oakley got one of these and I was just like, oh god, I must have one. Um, plus obviously Adam Connolly's got one as well. Um, so basically I'm stealing their idea. But yeah, they look absolutely stunning. What is it? Dreadful noise. Um, right, okay, so what else did I get? Oh, I got two Panther Mantises. Such a stunning mantis. Let's see if I can angle it a little bit. Nice. They're freaking stunning. They're the one. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, then I got. Ooh, listen to that. 
Right. Oh, the chair sounded like a part. Anyway, no, I can't do it anymore. Um, what else? I got five M filler um, ground mantises. I had those before. Uh, they lived communally fine. Um, again, I information wise on them, I had I've just got what I've heard from other people, but my ones lived to full size. They bred. They just didn't. Their oof didn't hatch for some reason. I'm not sure why last time. But this time I have five of them. Um, living communally. I've already put them into their enclosure. Let's have a look at them. I uh, fed a couple of them yesterday, so I'll put that footage into this. Hmm, one more. One, two, three, four. Ah. There it is. Awesome little disguise mantises. Anyway, I, manage, I imagine I'll get some really good feeding videos of these um, in the future. And last be, lastly, but certainly not least, these two. I've definitely got to. Give these tanks a bit of a clean out because they're looking a bit horrendous. But these are, let me see if I can remember it. Uh, they're the same as cryptics to some extent. Sibylla? So I, I will write it on here just to make sure, but I think this is Sibylla graffini. And again, this is one I've not kept before. Um, if it is anything like Sibylla pretiosa, they should be fine to be communal. But I'm not going to give them that. Um, not going to give that a chance because I do want to breed them. So I've got a pair, I've got this one here. I've got another one. It seems to be hanging on there. I think that's about it. Um, apart from uh, some more tongs <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Um, and anything else and a load of little deli cups and that was, that was it but it was fantastic and yeah thanks for everyone who I saw and uh, thanks for watching and look forward to a few good feeding videos in the future I'm going to do another giant Asian mantis feeding video um, whilst I'm on the subject, um, if anyone has a adult male um, giant Asian praying mantis, which is Herodula membracea, uh, one of my friends is looking for one. Um, so if you could just give me a message, I'm sure he'll be happy to sort out some sort of dealio if you're looking to sell or breed. Um, I possibly have some males, but they won't be ready for quite some time. At the moment I just have free mature or semi I say mature and it's certainly not semi mature that doesn't make sense uh, free sub adult females so yeah uh, I guess that's about it um, did I get anything else no I think I think that's it oh god what am I saying I'm missing out on the best bit holy manola These setups are a bit temporary, unfortunately. Um, but, this is the bell of the ball. If anyone knows me, 
Very well they'll know that the number one spider I've been after for a long time and I truly truly think it's stunning it's going to go back in now because of the light this is oh, I can't even pronounce it sort of a sedente species red fang or pronounce it something along those lines red fang wandering spider and I mean these are the most stunning I believe they're from Cameroon I've been made aware that these could potentially be gravid This one trumps Balfouri every time. Wow. Ah! Uh -huh.